Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn to write a python code to plot an asteroid. Okay, I have written a question over here. Write a python code to plot asteroid. So now we have we know that what is the general equation of an asteroid. The general equation of asteroid is x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 equal to r raised to 2 by 3 where r is the radius. Okay, we know this, the, this is the general equation of an asteroid. So we need to plot a graph for this. So how do we, how we are going to do that? So we are going to take the help of a package called as Symphy. Symphy package, fine. So now uh, at the start, if you type Symphy over here in your, co in your uh, like uh, editor, uh, you will get an error if you run this. So the error is because you don't have this Symphy package installed in it. So how to install the Symphy package in Python, I'm going to show you now. So now first click on uh, file. Okay, now first click on file. After that, click on settings, then click on interpreter, that is project interpreter. So now here you can find the packages that you have installed. So you can see I have installed uh, like a lot many of package uh, like as per my requirement. So now you need to install Symphy. So you can see here I have installed a Symphy package at the bottom. So uh, for you to be uh, like install that, click on this plus symbol. So type in over here, simply the package that you want to install. S Y M P Y. So you can see here it has been installed in my case. So you should click here and click on install package and wait for a few seconds. Uh, according to internet speed, it will be getting installed. So it might take hardly two or three minutes to get installed. Okay. So after that, it will show here, Symphy package has been installed successfully. So then click on okay. So now here, what I'm doing is I'm writing my first line. What is that? From Symphy import star. Star means all the packages, all the methods that are present in Symphy package will be loaded in this project okay that you can use it okay i'm using only two package or two methods you can call variable and plot implicit method only two method i am using so now what does this variable method does it will return me an object having an attribute of x and y okay it will return me an object having an attribute x and y so this we can for this variable we can pass only one argument okay so next next step is we need to plot that so how we are going to plot that we are using calling a function called as plot underscore implicit okay so next we know that over here so check here pay attention to this so it, it was is equals to r to 2 by 3 i am taking it to the left hand side so this turns out to be minus r raised to 2 by 3 equal to zero okay so now i am calling the function called as plot implicit i need to pass the expression what is the expression that i need to plot i need to plot x raised to 2 by 3 so star star means raised to 2 by 3 star sorry star star means raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 here star star resembles to raised to so next we have r r is so r the radius i'm taking it as 4 so minus 4 raised to 2 by 3 minus 4 raised to 2 by 3 okay and close the bracket and run okay i'm going to run this so it will be plotting an asteroid for me the simple packet will be plotting an asteroid for me So it will take a bit extra time. Be patient. So here this symbolizes that 
this red color symbolizes that the program is running in the background. Yes. As you can see on the screen, it has plotted an asteroid. Okay, simply has plotted me an asteroid. So this is the code to plot an asteroid. Closing this. So if you don't want to import this as a star, means all the package, if you don't want to import, you can separately import this variable as well as plot implicit function. You can separately import this. If you import this sub two separately, you can only use these two packages. Okay, I'll run this. So now you can see we have plotted this. Okay. So I'm going to close this and stop my execution. So now I'm going to comment this out. Has his comment. So let me print the value of 2 raised to 3. So how we are going to print 2 star star 3. As said before, star star assembles to raise to. So 2 raised to 3, ideally we should get 8. Let us see what we are getting. You can see over here, I'm getting 8. So now we'll move on to the next code. That is plotting of a cardioid. So what is the value that we have? R is equals to pi into 1 plus cos theta. So now what is the general formula for this? General formula is R is equals to A into 1 plus cos theta. So this is the general formula for it. Okay. So now from this equation, you should note that we need to we need to calculate the value of theta over here first, then its cos value, right? Then its cos value. And instead of a, we have phi as, as in given in your question. So now first we are going to import numpy. So now what is numpy? NumPy is a library where we can calculate all the mathematical operations. So we can store in the form of an array, we can arrange it, okay, we can manipulate according to the math our mathematical requirements. So we use NumPy, okay, for any calculation you can think you use NumPy, it's an open source library. So as in, for the first time, you won't be having that in your PC, so you need to install the package. So how we are going to install, the process remains the same. Click on file, settings, project interpreter, plus symbol and search for numpy, n-u-m-e-y, numpy, p-u-y, okay, numpy, okay, n-u-m-p-y. Click on this, click on install, wait for a few seconds, few minutes, your, uh, your uh, package will be installed and it will be showing it over here. So you can see in my case, it's showing here. NumPy. Okay. Click on OK. So now I'm importing NumPy and I'm giving it as a name. What is the name? NP. So whenever I use NP, so that will ref uh, refer to NumPy only. Okay. So next I'm importing matplotlib. Okay. That is matplot library. So how I'm going to imp import this? The process is same. So you need to import, you need to install this package. So click on file, interpret settings, project interpreter, search in over here, matplotlib and install it. Okay, the process will remain the same. So now why we are using matplotlib? So matplotlib we are using for plotting of the graph. Okay, we are using for plotting of the graph. So I am naming it as matplotlib as plt. Okay, whenever I want to use any package, any methods of matplotlib, I don't need to uh, like write the whole name. I'll just write plt because I am defining it over here. It has plt. 
So now first thing, okay, I need to calculate the value of theta. Okay, I need to calculate the value of theta. So how we are going to calculate it? So in NumPy, there is a method called as line space. Okay, that is called as, uh, there is a method called as line space. So this will give you the value uh, according to the feed, according to the start and end point that you have set. Okay, start and end point and the increment point that you have set. So now you can see over here, so it is taking three arguments. So comma is, means it has one argument. So you can see over here, zero is one argument. Okay, two into uh, N, uh, NP into pi is one argument and 2000 is another argument. Okay, so now what is the start point of theta? Start point of theta is zero. Okay, end point is 2000 or you can take 1000 or 360, anything uh, like uh, as you refer. So next we have two into pi. So now you can see over here, you don't need to mention the value of pi to pi. You don't need to mention that. Why? Because NP has an inbuilt pi. So you can uh, like access it using NP dot pi. So this will give you the same value. Okay. If you want. So now we are using a method called as line space whereas NP dot pi and this is the end point. Okay. So this will calculate a theta value for me. That is this value for me your theta value for me. Okay. So now next we are, what we are doing, we are calculating an R. So the R means you can uh, take any other variable uh, like according to you. So I'm calculating this. So as they have given R, so I'm using the same variable R. R equal to, if you split this according to the word, uh, if we like multiply phi inside this bracket, turns out to be phi plus, okay, phi plus phi cos theta, right? Phi plus pi cos theta. So now theta value we know from here. So we'll be getting theta value from here. So r is equals to, we are calculating the expression value of this expression, pi plus pi. Cos theta is an function in uh, numpy. So we can access that. So how we are going to access? np dot cos theta will give me the value of cos theta. Okay. Pi plus pi into cos theta. So r value I have got so now I should plot this. So for plotting, as said before, we are using matplotlib. So in this matplotlib, uh, we, we denoted it as plt. So plt dot polar. So we are plotting a polar curve. So plt dot polar. So what is what we need to uh, pass? We need to pass the theta, the angle. Okay. The value of it that is r plus r cos theta that we have calculated over here okay and r so r means it's the color it is the color that you are going to plot with and at the last we are going to plot plt dot show okay plt dot show let me run i'm going to run this okay you can see here this is my curve that i have plotted Okay, according to this. So one thing I'll do, instead of R, I'll change it to blue. V means blue. I'll close this and I'll run this once again. Yes, you can see how it is blue, blue in color. So you can change your color over here. So let me do an experiment over here. So let me check the value of pi. So I'll print np dot pi. Okay, I'm printing np dot pi. So let me run this. So you can see over here, what is the value I'm getting for np dot pi? So this is the value that we are going to use it over here. That's it. Okay. So I hope you have understood how to plot using uh, Python code. So, so let's meet in next chapter. Bye then. Have a good day.